Hi, my name is uh, Zach Smith. Uh, you know, I've been working with uh, a parachute sea anchor manufacturer called Ferentino for South Boy since 1995 now. And basically, these parachutes drag underwater to slow boats down in storms and, and things like that. In this case, we're uh, testing with the U.S. Space Alliance, members from the U.S. Space Alliance, who are going to be building parachute systems and other items for, for NASA's new space program, the Orion Project, which uh, basically we're going, we're going to be using rockets to, to launch the astronauts back in space again. And then when they return, the, the modules will return via a parachute landing in the water. And what we have to do is stabilize these modules rather quickly so they're going to attach. Frogmen are going to jump in the water. They're going to attach one of our parachute anchors uh, to the module. That way they can put inflatable collars, things like that, to uh, help uh, get the astronauts off them safely. So today, our, our primary concern was to do uh, load testing on the parachutes. We want to make sure they're strong enough so they're not breaking. So if, for example, the, the module lands at, in the middle of the night, it's dark out, and there's nine foot seas, that the parachute, the ropes, and so forth attached to the items won't, won't break on you. And we achieved that today. Uh, we are fortunate in, in the sense that uh, everything went exactly according to plan. I figured the weak, uh, the weak link would be the, the rope attached to the parachute. It broke at roughly 3,220 pounds, something like that, during one of our, our, our tow tests. And it was broken at the knot. So the knot's always going to weaken rope. Naturally, the, the, the final item that will be given to the, the Space Alliance will, won't have any knots on the line, so it'll be much stronger. But still, after seeing that, I, I think I'm going to have the line beefed up just as an added precaution because you're talking about people's lives here. So, so I was very happy overall how everything turned out when I took a look at the parachute with help from the engineers. Nothing, not a single stitch was loose. Everything looked as though the parachute was brand new. So, was What was your favorite or most successful part about today? I like to be able to figure out beforehand what's going to happen, and it did. So I said, okay, the rope's going to be the weakling. I know it's not the parachute. I know it's not any of the stainless hardware fittings. And I know by looking at that rope, it's not a nylon, so there's no stretch in it. It's a complete zero stretch rope, which I kind of need anyway, because in the, system, in the situation we're going to be using this equipment, by having zero stretch, no, no, no slack at all, the chute's going to stay in place. There's nothing's going to collapse. We're going to get maximum drag to hold that, that capsule in place. However, like I said, that rope kind of broke at 3,000, even though it's well beyond any safe measures that they were expecting. They were looking at 400 pounds for consistency in, in load, loading on the equipment as being good. But me, I just like to really overkill to make sure it's safe. So how do you feel that this parachute is going to make a difference in the actual practical use? It's, it's going to make a difference in the sense that that, that platform, that means that module is not going to be rocking and rolling to the point where it wants to completely flip over. So when you have, when you get imagine, you're, I don't even know the amount of the, the, the weight these astronauts are carrying, but it's probably several hundred pounds of equipment, and they can't really move a whole lot. So if this thing's getting knocked all around, and say the hatch broke, breaks open, and there's some kind of leakage, I know they're designed not to sink now, but that thing can still flood with water, and you can have problems now somebody drowns. That's the last thing I want to you know, have on my conscience. And I know the frogman and everybody else wants to get in there right away for the same reason. Let's get these people off uh, as quickly as they can, but they can't pull them out successfully if that thing's rocking and rolling all over the place. Now, they will add inflatable um, collars all around this thing, like big inflatable buoys. It, it looks like, like life wrap by the time they're done putting all this equipment together, but it still needs to be stabilized before they can connect those safely, too, because you're dealing with people in the water, astronauts, so you're dealing with a big group of people you have to be concerned about, and safety-wise. I'd, I'd have to look at... Yeah, I gave it to you originally, but this was one small, one diameter smaller, so I'll have to take that one. Is this 7.16? Like this one is, it's the one that's one size small. The 7.16? Yeah, they're very close. I mean, the, the poundage was like maybe 800 pounds different to the brain yeah. strength, but that's why I wanted to do a shot. I would have done it anyway if it was 7.16 or not. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been much higher. I think it would have probably broke, so. I brought a second line, so I'll put that on. Oh. You want to go six and a half times, right? No, uh, what I'll do is I'll just throw it in while we're going slow and then have it slow down. Just uh, see okay. bring up the power so we can really see where it breaks. Well, and then we want to break, right. And then we'll see where it breaks. Well, now you know what? Now you what? know where it's going to break, right?